So this is the men's 50 meter freestyle S11. Swimmers to be introduced, starting off with the Ukraine's Viktor Smirnov, the 30 year old at 27.62 in the preliminaries. Miroslav Smirta of Czech Republic, formerly competed for Czechoslovakia until 1992 and was in Olympic contention before his impairment. Alexander Maschenko, another 30 year old. Three times he's been the 100 meter breaststroke champion, a four time Paralympic Games champion. He goes in seven in this 53 final. Grigory Zuchilau. That's not Henry Herbst. Herbst will go in lane three. This is Zuchilau of Belarus, who failed to make a final in Glasgow at the last World Championships, but such is his improvement. But, uh, in his first event of five, he's swimming in the final in lane two. Fifth in 2012, Kei Chikimura of Japan. The 26-year-old from Tokyo. Two Paralympic Games medals in 2012 represents Japan. This is Henry Habs, South African 24-year-old. He was a bronze medalist in the 100 free in 2012, bronze in the 50 and 100 free in Glasgow. Representing South Africa, he goes in three. But the man to chase, Yang Bozun, the 30-year-old gold medalist who retired after his victory in 2012 to teach full-time, but decided to come back. The lure of the Paralympic Games too much. The four-time Paralympic Games champion is back. And he is going to be challenged by silver medalist of 2012, Bradley Snyder of the United States. The 400 free gold medalist, the silver medalist in, this, in the 100 breast in that dead heat with Makowski of Poland. But the swimmers to watch, Kimura in six, Bozun, Jan Bozun in five, Bradley Snyder in four, Henry Herbst in three. Those three... Well, those four should be challenging for the three medals on offer, but don't discount Smirta, Suchilau, Moschenko, Smirnov in the outside lanes. Perhaps, though, saying he's been working so much on strength and power in his sprints and feels that he's improved a lot. It's certainly one of his favorite events, the 53. But it's about swimming straight. Hitting the lane dividers certainly does take a great deal of time off in 50 meters each split second is valuable, so reaction time off the starting blocks is crucial. And indeed, swimming straight. S11 is for swimmers with visual impairment. And swimmers who aren't blind swim with blackened goggles. All swimmers are required to. Every swimmer unsighted as the men's 50 meter freestyle S11 gets underway. And Snyder and Yang immediately into the pool. Habs making a good challenge early on for South Africa. Snyder starting to veer off and down to the left. Hits the rain divider here. Habs is falling back a little. Yang Bozun wanting to come back, but Bradley Snyder finds his stroke and is going to power into the home. Bradley Snyder of the United States is going to win this by almost a body length. Battle for Silver is in fact going to come out from Kimura of Japan. Yang just sneaks in for the bronze ahead of Herbst. But what a swim from Kimura in the end. The Japanese swimmer really pushed it in the closing stages, turned it on at the end and takes the silver for Bradley Snyder, gold medalist in the 400 free. He'll be aiming for gold in the 100 free, has just claimed gold in the 50 free. That was fantastic for Bradley Snyder. Knew he needed to keep it straight, knew he needed to keep his wits about him, and he did exactly that. A 25.57, only 0.3 of a second outside Yang Bozun's world record. Yang struggling to get to his very best. Bradley Snyder, champion for the fifth time at a Paralympic Games. Kimura of Japan, silver medalist. Splendid display. World champion in 2013 in the 100 free. Two games medals in 2012. He now has a silver medal 
after finishing fifth in the final four years ago. And Yang Bozun, the defending champion, had to settle for bronze this time around. Not as prepared coming into Rio 2016 as he was going into London 2016. So quick off the starting blocks was uh, Bradley Snyder. Just trying to give himself that little advantage. And while he hit the uh, lane divider, the lane rope in the opening stages, he managed to hold on, regain his stroke, find his tempo, and that just took him to the wall. Very impressive from Snyder. But very impressive too, the finish from Kimura. Just turned it on in the back end. Well, I suspect he just got away to a poorer start than he would have liked and knew that he had a huge task ahead. That final 25 absolutely brought it home. It was an impressive performance. Well, he